and good afternoon. Uh, in the previous video, we set up the position registers and offsets to do our orange cylinders. In this video, we're going to tackle the yellow blocks, and we're going to go in a snake pattern. So let's actually duplicate this orange offset file, and we're going to just modify it since we already have a lot of the work actually created in the heading. So let's go back to select orange offset. We're going to go over and we're going to go copy and keyboard. Let's call this yellow offset. And let's find that yellow offset. Hit enter on that. So we have our U-frame U-tool all set up. We have our register one, which is our counting. Now, obviously, we're not going to be doing these items at the same time. So we can use register one as our counter again. We're going to use position register or point register number two. Number two is going to be our start point of our brick. So we're going to use position register number six. So let's actually set this up right away. So let's go inside here and I'm going to go shift record, which records this position. Then I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call this yellow offsets. Then I'm going to go position and make sure these are all at zero. Done. Let's go back into our program. So we're going to use position register number six. I'm going to use position register number six and then number one, which is going to be my yellow offset. And this is my X coordinate setting equal to zero. Then I'm going to use position register number six. And we're going to then change the Y coordinate, which is number two. And we're going to set that equal to zero. So we're just initializing these variables. We're going to go to the home item. This is our jump label. So then what we're going to do is we're going to arrow down. So I'm going to rename this cylinder here. So I'm going to just click here and I'm going to go ABC and I'm going to go yellow box point. Yellow box point. Then we're going to go down to our point. So right here is position right above it. That's our safe position. This is going to be our actual position of the yellow portion. We're going to use the position register number two, yellow bricks. So it's going to linear down to yellow bricks. So let's actually go to that point. All right, so it's moving back here. The reason why is because we have this position registry offset. Let's actually turn this off. So let's go choice on here and then no option. So now let's go back here and then we're going to go shift forward and it should go down to our position right here. So now we're all set. So now with the offsets off, we can actually save these points. So we have our position registry. Now let's move this up so that it is 100 millimeters above. There we go. And then we're going to save this as our movement point. And I'm going to actually turn off offsets. I'm going to turn off that. And I'm also going to go down here. I'm going to turn off that as well. So I'm going to change the offset so that this doesn't mess up. So go here, shift, touch up. So now we're at that position. And then we're going to position point register number two. So we're good on that. And then we're going to go down to our point one as well. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to go position two there as well. So we're at that point. So we're going to go down to here, down to our yellow brick, and then back up again, and then we're going to move over. So let's try this. So I'm going to go shift forward, reset all our variables, go back to home, and then we're going to go down to right above. Then it's going linear down to our top, and then linear back up. And then we're going to go through our changing of position numbers. So this area we're going to change pretty substantially. So I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of these lines. So I'm going to ECDM, I'm going to delete this line, and then I'm going to add some lines in here so I have some space to work. So I'm going to add maybe six lines to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move in the Y position first. So this is actually negative position. So we're going to go the position registry number six, and we're going to change the Y position, which is number two. And then we're going to set that equal to our position registry number six, Y position. And we're going to subtract 
a certain amount. I don't know what the amount is right now, so let's actually see what that amount is. So I'm going to bring this back down to my top point, and now let's actually move this. So I'm going to click my point, and let's see how much we need to actually move uh, for our next position. So if you don't know where or how much to move, what we can do is we can actually bring out the measuring tool. So we go up here and measure tool. And since it's going to be center to center, we can actually go in here. Let me delete this. Delete this. Escape. And then go measure again. So if I go corner to corner, is 125 millimeters. So that means from center to center is 125 millimeters. So if I turn this off, click my tool, and bring it over negative 125, now we're at the center right here. So that's the amount that I need to subtract from my position register Y component. Then let's going to add one to our register. So I'm going to go copy, cut, select, cut, and then we bring it up to here. I'm going to go paste in the position. So we're going to add one to there, and then we're going to make our decision. So we hit escape here, and we're going to go add new instruction. If select. If this register, number 1, equal to a constant number of 4, then we're going to jump to label 2. If it's not, then we're going to jump to label 1. So it starts all over. So we're going to add new instruction, and we're going to go jump, jump label 1. So right now we're only going down the row. So we're going down the row right here. So let's see how this runs. So I run this part over, up. So it keeps going up and down, up and down, up and down, because we did not add the offset to our points here. So let's uh, go back in here. Let's add that offset. So no option. So we're going to do offset point register number six. And then right here, we're going to go offset point register number six. And then offset Point register number six. There we go. So now that we have that set up, the offsets on the actual points, now we can actually go up here and run this program. And it goes up to the top. All right, so we have our one program now or one row. Now that I have that, so I'm going to just get rid of some of this stuff that we used from previous. So there's my label 2, so we're going to jump to label 1. All right, so now we're going to bring label 2 up to here. So I'm going to actually delete this, or we can copy this, bring it up to here. So label 2. So label 2, we're now going to move up in our X coordinate. So we're going to new instruction and we're going to go registers and we're going to add to our register so we're going to point register ij so we're going to use position register number six and we're going to use the x component of that which is number one and then we're going to set that equal to position register number six and the x component which is one and we're going to add the amount from here to here. So now let's actually measure this. So if I measure, and right now it's pulling from that corner, so I can actually measure for up to here. So it says 95. So we're going to go 95 millimeters. So we're going to add 95 millimeters. So constant 95. So once we jump to label 2, then we're going to add to the 95. So this allows me to jump into this right here. Now we need to count backwards. Now, in order to do that, because we want to utilize this loop over and over and over again, we're actually going to modify line 21, which is negative 25, 125. What I'm going to do is make this, instead of a hard number, we're going to make this a variable. So we're going to use the data register number 2 in here, and let's first make this a plus, and then we're going to make a choice on this, and we're going to use register number two. And when we do register number two, let's go to data, type, registers. Here's register number two, and what we can do 
is this is going to be the direction. So I'm going to call this, this is going to be our count. So I'm actually going to do counter. And then this is going to be our direction. Y. So direction in the Y. And we're going to set this equal to originally going to be negative 125. So we're going to set that to a negative 125. So let's go back to edit and let's go up to the top of this program and let's set up that variable. So I'm going to go insert line and I'm going to add a register. So actually I'm going to insert the line right here so that my registers are in the same area and I'll delete that line. There we go. Now I'm going to go new instruction, registers, set it equal to register number two, which is my y direction. And then I'm going to make that equal to a constant number of negative 125. So it originally starts out as negative 125. No matter where the program is, it automatically resets it to negative 125. So I'm going to go shift down to where we are at. So now what we're going to do, so this is minus, minus, minus. Now we need to add 125 to that number. Set this line to a positive 125. So we're going new instruction, registers. We're going to now set our register number two, which is our Y direction. And we're going to set that to a positive, so a constant 125. So now that it's a positive 125, so we set all these null variables up. Now we're going to jump back to label 1. So we're going to do instruction, jump, jump to label 1. Then we need to make another if statement. So we go ECDM, insert one line, and let's add another if statement. Because we're not resetting the counter, we want to know if the counter is counting up to 8. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to new instruction, if, and we're going to set equal to. So register number 1, which is our counter, is equal to a constant 8. We're going to then jump to label 3. And this is where we'll set up the final row of the yellow block. So let's add one more label and then we'll run it. So here's the... End. So we're going to here is going to be our label three. So I'm going to add some rows here. So row three here, and then move down, and then we're going to make this label three for now. So I'm going to just bring this up here. New instruction, jump label, label three. So once we hit label three, it jumps down here, goes to home position, and then ends our program. So let's see how this goes. Run the program. All right, so you see we moved actually one position over because we need to set our position to the previous one for our x component because it did add one to the offset. So we need to bring this back to 500. So let's go down to where our jump label number two is and let's insert one row here. So we're going to set the point registry number six and the Y component to 500, okay, which is the fourth time one. Or we can just subtract that amount um, from it. So we can go new instruction, registers. We're going to add IJ, point register number six. And then the Y component, which is two, is equal to our point registry IJ, which is six. And then our Y component. And then we're going to add the amount that we move. And we're smart about this. Let's actually put this after we change the register to 125 or a positive 125. So what we do is I'm going to click here, ECDM, cut, select, cut. And then I'm going to go down to here. And we paste it, paste over. So you can see there's our jump label. Number one, we're going to change the Y offset so it goes forward here. Then we're going to reset 
our register, which is direction, to a positive 125, which allows us to go this way. So then we're going to then add to our point register, because it came out here, we're going to add that 125. So we're going to click inside here, and we're going to go register 2, which is 125, which is our direction. Okay, so now let's run this and see what happens. There we go. So we move that up to the 125, and now we're going to go to that position. Now we'll go home, and now we have to do the one last line. So it jumps to label 3, which we will set our registers back to the original point of negative 125, and we'll do the last row. So here we have our register. We're going to add another 925. So what we do is actually going to copy this whole thing here, and then we're going to go back down. ECDM, copy, and we're going to go select. So we're going to go all the way down here. We're going to go copy, and then we go down after label three, and I'm going to go paste, and we're going to keep all the same information. So now we could jump from label. So this says jump to label three, which label three actually jumps to the end right now, but we want to do the next component. So we're going to add another 95, which brings us forward. So we don't change this line because it's going to go this direction. Now what we need to do is we need to switch this to a negative 125. So we'll change it back to it. And then everything else should be the same. We're going to jump back to label one. So here we're moving up to label one. So we do all our items and then at the end, we have to do one more if statement. So now if it's equal to 12, register 1, which is our counter, is equal to a constant 12. We're going to jump to label 4, which will actually end the program this time. So if I shift down, and right here, right before our register home here, we're going to add new instruction, label four. All right, let's run this. This should be the last time we run it. There we go. So all the way up to our home position, Everything is correct. It does a snake pattern back and forth. And you can see basically all we did was we created one point and we just modified that point over and over again using offsets. So video three then will be the cylinders on the left hand side.